What's good YouTube? It's your boy Cardi and in today's video I'm gonna be plugging y'all boys with the best jump shots in NBA 2K22 for every single position on the court. If you're a point guard and you need a jump shot, I got you. Shooting guard, got you. Small forward, got you. Power forward, I got you. And centers, I got you. Don't worry. If you're a popper, if you're a lockdown, if you're a short guard, a play shot, a tall guard, doesn't matter. I got y'all boys. Before we get into this video, make sure you boys drop a like right now, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a stream or an upload. About 96.3% of the people that come across my video are not already subscribed so to get that number down to zero hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and comment new sub when you're done so i can make sure to sell you thank you i appreciate all the support 50k coming real soon when you're watching this video we probably hit 40k so i want to say thank you for 40k we've been going crazy 60k more till 100k spend with that 100k cardi in the comments below if you have any questions let me know i'm gonna give you inside the game tips badges settings outside the game tips things you need to do uh everything you need to know i got you in this video to be able to shoot better i promise let's get right into this video boys i love y'all let's go all right now one of the first things i want to talk about is your settings i go over my settings in every single video if it's a tutorial i gotta show you my settings okay if i gotta show you something it's gotta be in the settings so make sure you go to your controller settings check out your controller settings i listen dog all right this is a sore topic for a lot of gentle souls out here you know the shot meter all right i know you're embedded to it i know you love it it's time to take it off uh, you don't want to be out here 30 years old with the shot meter. You should not be using the shot meter on July. You shouldn't been you shouldn't have been using the shot meter since they let you take it off in 2K20. If you practice it, you're gonna get good at it and you're gonna like it more than the meter. The meter is not good. I don't know. I know people like to use it and they're comfortable with it and they shoot good with it. Whatever, bro. Just use no shot meter. Get good with it because you're never gonna be elite. If you watch all the elite players play, none of them use the meter. None of them need the meter. If you want to be elite and you want to be good, you're gonna need to take out the shot meter. I'm telling you, okay? Just take it off. Uh, that's about it for the jump shots. I mean, you could try your vibration on just to see if you get jump shot vibration, but most people don't. 99% don't. You might be that 1%. I know a few people that get it, and it's a very, very lucky and rare thing. If you get shot, vi or shot vibration on your jump shot in the park or in the stage, you're a lucky, lucky man, but that ain't me. So I have it on for my drip moves, but, you know, that's about it for the settings, okay? Now, I want to go over some of the outside the game tips before I run over here and show you. Well, let's just go over the first inside the game tip. We'll go one inside the game tip, one outside the game, and then we'll finish up with the rest of the inside the game tips. So the number one thing, my boy, is you have to stay strapped on your jump shot boost. I'm tired of seeing people run around here with no jump shot boost. Like, what are we doing? I'm always strapped up, okay? I got 99 speed, 99 acceleration or 98 acceleration and a 99 stamina okay on top of that i have 57 jump shot boost i have gatorade i wouldn't recommend buying gatorade but because it's just so expensive like boost are only 1500 for 10 games gatorade's like 3500 let's just check for ourselves okay let's go to the boost all right buy boost i'm gonna just go ahead and stack up on my jump shot boost actually no i'm not because i'm maxing out a new player so i'm not gonna do that um but as you can see i don't have that much vc i gotta do my vc methods you know we're gonna get right just wait on it but as you can see, I always buy, like, it's 1500 for the jump shot boost. All right, let's just leave. Let's look at the Gatorade. All right, just for one thing of Gatorade, it's 500 All right, so you're getting three things of Gatorade for the price of 10 boosts, which is not worth it. Um, I would always spin my wheel, spin your wheel every single day, and if you're a shooter, you gotta have jump shot boost, okay? That's just, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. If you're a shooter, you need to have jump shot boost. If you don't have jump shot boost, then you're just gonna be lost. You're not gonna be, play that good. That's just the truth. You can still shoot good, but you're gonna get a lot of full bars, you're gonna get a lot of BS that should've went in, that would've went in if you had jump shot boost. So, I'm telling you right now, jump shot boosts are super important, okay? Now, one thing um, the outside of the game tips I want to tell you is I would try to get a monitor, okay? You don't need anything crazy, just a gaming monitor with a one millisecond response time, 24 to 27 inches, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 90 bucks, 75 bucks, doesn't matter. If you're playing on a big TV, a big old TV especially, I mean a TV in itself is bad, but if you're playing on a TV, you're probably going to want to get a monitor so you have a better, it's more fair if you're on a monitor because they play with the least amount of delay, they play with the least amount of response time, that's just that's just the fastest response time, that's what they do, okay? And then have an ethernet and plug in your controller, that's the best thing I can tell you. Now, either win a finals or play enough to get gym rat or just do your workout in general. Okay, now as you can see, I have Jim Rat on this build because I one hit level 40. But if you hit level 40, you gotta claim it on all your builds. I don't know why it doesn't just automatically give it to you. The game is just dumb. I don't know why it does that. They literally finesse me. I don't know, bro. Screw 2K, bro. They're just dumb. It's Mike Wang, if you end up watching this video because you can't shoot, you're just dumb, brother. I don't know what to tell you, but you have a brick for a head, coach. I don't know what to do with you. 
But anyways, always do your physical attribute boost because you get more of a chance to green the shot when you have more stamina. So if you do the workout, you get plus four stamina, so which means you have a better chance of greening your shots because you have more stamina. And if you have a gym rat badge or you have you get plus three in every category or better, you get an extra bar of Gatorade, which makes it where it doesn't go into your stamina, which means you have a consistent, fast jump shot. Everyone knows when you dribble a lot, your jump shot goes super slow. So you're not gonna be able to shoot if you don't have good stamina and you don't have an extra bar of Gatorade. And you have boost, so you have boost, extra bar, Gatorade, um, better stamina, all that type of stuff. You're gonna be chilling, okay? And I bought boost, so I ha I bought a Gatorade, so I have two th two extra bars of Gatorade. That's just a W. You can spin the wheel and get Gatorade boost. That's another W. You'll be going crazy, all right? So just make sure you're spinning your wheel, trying to get Gatorade, getting your Gatorade workout done, buying boost, having a monitor, having an Ethernet, having wired controller, bruh. You're gonna be if you didn't have those things before if you were not doing those things before if you only do that I promise you you'll be shooting way better, but the jump shot and the badges are also important Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the badges here are the badges that I use for my player. Okay, let's just look Now I have 26 cuz I on the original build I had I only had 25 But I put my extra shooting badge my extra badge I got from hitting level 40 from hitting level 39 I mean on to shooting so as you can see I have this is for guards Okay, I'm gonna start off with small guards and I'm gonna show you the badge setup for like locks and then I'm gonna show you the badge setup for poppers. Now, for a small guard, this is the badge setup that I run, okay? If you like to fade threes a lot, I would recommend using circus threes too, maybe on bronze. But as you can see, I have mismatch expert hall of fame. If you're a small guard, you need mismatch expert on. If you're a tall guard, that will not affect you. If you're an isoing tall guard, that will not affect you, okay? You're too tall. You're not gonna get mismatch expert activated unless you play like a post score that's seven foot three in your face. You know what I mean? And I think they have to be like four inches taller than you, five inches, maybe six. I don't really remember. But I know that for a fact. Let's just see if it tells you. Yeah, it doesn't tell you. Um, but that's I, that's a good badge if you're a small guard. Stop and pop, really good badge, really good, really good, really good. Uh, it boosts shot rating on standing still three point shooter or three pointers after dribbling. So after you're dribbling, you're cooking up and you stop and shoot, you're gonna have a boosted per percent of making that shot. Sniper is the be it's the most broken badge in the game. This and tie handles is the two most broken ba badges in the game, and it's not close. So use sniper on the highest you can get it. Lucky number seven gives you a boost to early shot clock jumpers. That's why I use it because it's so broken. It makes your green window so much bigger in those first seven seconds. And a lot of times, if you're playing ones or you're playing twos, you're gonna shoot in those first seven seconds. It might not be all the time, but it's gonna be more, it's gonna be very likely. And especially if you're playing to that badge, if you're like, all right, let's just get a shot up. Let's look for a quick shot, quick midi. Seven seconds is low key a long time. That's one third of the shot clock, pretty much. That's about one third point five, one three point five, one out of three point five, which is, I don't know. Um, I think that's a lot, so I think that it's worth it. And then I have Hot Zone on Hall of Fame. If you want to learn how to get your Hot Zones, if you want to learn how to check your Hot Zones, here you go. You go over to My Player. Actually, that's not true. You go over to Play Next Game. You go over to My Minutes. Click down on the right stick right here. Bow. Shout out Newark East High. I don't know what that Newark East High. I don't know what that is, but you want to press RB or RT all the way over to your badges. Let's look at the badges. I mean, not to your badges. Your shot chart. I'm tripping. Go to your shot chart. Press X or Square on PlayStation. Look at my. Uh, field goal percentage, all right? So I got 70% from the right wing, 72 from the right or the right wing, and then 70% from the corner, the right corner, 57.1% from the top of the key, 60 from the left wing, and 72 from the left corner. My middies are all hot except for that one area. I got three for nine, 33%. I don't know what's going on there, um, which is very easy. I could literally shoot two shots and have a hot zone if I just green both of them, which is very easy to do. Yeah, I think you have to shoot above 50%. Or have like a good amount of shots taken there i mean i don't know i think it's above 50 percent though because six for 11 54 percent i think that's the lowest 50 50 i got uh yeah 54 percent six for 11 right uh right midi so i think yeah that's about the lowest you can shoot is 50 percent still have a hot zone which is very easy to do i'm not gonna lie and it resets every 50 games so if your shit is fucked from the last 50 games you can always fix it so don't trip out about that you can always fix and always do better but let's go back to the badge okay so that's how you check your hot zone so if you don't have hot zones if it's all like gray then there's no point to have hot zone hunter on work on use other badges to get it in i like use i don't know volume shooter to help you just knock in white sniper to help you knock in white so you can at least get some hot zones and you'll get a bigger green window and you might start greening more shots um, blinders hall of fame become unfazed from defenders from the side it's just one of the most broken badges in the game as well it's a very good badge chef on silver i don't really think this badge is that good increases the range for off the dribble three point shots i don't think this badge is that good but that's just me then i have clutch shooter which activates after 12 points and then i have green machine which helps you get more consecutive green releases okay now this is the badges i would use for a guard now i'm gonna say that like your popper or your lockdown only has like 10 badges okay i'm gonna go with the lockdown that has like 10 badges so we're gonna go until we have 16 upgrades left 
look now most people do a pure like red or pure red and green but some people do a pure red so i'm gonna go with the red and green say you have 16 upgrades right so that means i need 10 upgrades available all right so we're gonna go sniper on hall of fame then we're gonna go catch and shoot silver we're probably gonna go corner specialist silver dead eye silver which means now we need to do six more so i'm probably going to go green machine on bronze i'm probably gonna go clutch shooter volume shooter um and then hot zone hunter take down volume shooter actually take down green machine go like that right there sniper hall of fame hot zone hunter hall of fame corner specialist silver dead eye silver catch a suit silver clutch shooter bronze so if they make you ice it for the game you're gonna have that boost you're gonna have sniper boost you're gonna have green machine boost if you've been green in your shots uh you don't really need anything else you're not gonna be shooting too deep so you don't need chef you don't you're not gonna be fading you don't need circus threes you don't need blinders um you should only be shooting when you're wide open but i have that eye on just in case you get a contested corner shot i don't know when that would happen but you want to take that off and move it on something else you can i just don't really know what other badge you would need when you're just a clock corner sitter you just wouldn't need another badge like blinders you don't need you don't need corner specialist higher you don't need to catch and shoot higher bro you don't um chef you're not gonna need you're not gonna be shooting from super fucking far you're in the corner um, but that's it. Limitless spot up can be good, but it's like you're shooting from the corner. How deep can a corner three get? But it's just my opinion. I think you'll shoot just fine with this badge setup. But now I'm gonna move on to the poppers. Okay, the poppers is what y'all should be using. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you have the same amount of badges. Okay, limitless spot up should be silver, dead eye bronze. Um, I'd probably go blinders on bronze just to make sure you have it. Green machine bronze, clutch shooter bronze. Then I'm probably gonna go like. I don't know slippery off ball but I, I don't really think you need that that much so you could also go limitless spot up hall of fame so you have 16 badges if you don't just make sure you have the important badges which is sniper hot zone hunter and then I would probably go rank rank them in importance I'd probably go um dead eye is probably number one and having it bronze then I'll probably have green machine number two then I probably have clutch shooter just so you can get ice because people are going to make you ice the game sometimes if you're a popper and your guard's going crazy if you're a lockdown and your guard's going crazy they are going to make you ice the game and if you want to be able to hit that shot or at least hit the white you need clutch shooter so that's just my opinion all right now let's just keep going i'm probably just going to put limitless spot up on hall of fame and call it a day okay so that's it for the badges i gave you guard badges i gave you lock badges i gave you popper badges okay if you're an iso guard i'm gonna just probably say this all right if you're an iso guard probably everything stays the same um same dead eye on silver probably uh corner specialist doesn't need to be needed hot zone hunter lucky number seven like all these shots all this shit stays the same to be honest um, you don't really need anything too crazy. If you're a tall guard, ISO wing, you don't need mismatch expert because it's not going to work. So, yeah, I mean, that's just every you just got to do your own play style, figure out your play style, figure out what's good. But I mean, I'm trying to lead you that way if you don't know. So, I hope this is helping at least. All right, but now I'm just going to give you the jump shots and then, yeah, that'll be it. So, we're going to look at the jump shot creator. Now, I'm going to show you my jump shot before I even get into it. This is the jump shot I loaded into. Um, I'm, I haven't been changing shit, I haven't been cutting shit. So, this is what it is, all right? So, look, there's the jump shot. Mm -hmm. I have a couple. I have jump shots for poppers, locks, and guards, okay? So, my guard jump shots, okay? To start off, my guard jump shots, I would even say for a two-way playmaker, tall guard, bro, these jump shots are good, okay? So, I got my A-Cardi jump shot, but that's not the one I'm going to show you first. I'm going to show you the jump shot that I use that I really like, okay? Set shot 25, then I have Paul George and I have Kent Bazemore, 65, 35, release speed max, okay? That is my jump shot. Now, listen, if you skip to this part of the video, make sure you go all the way back and watch because I know your ass can't shoot and you're trying to fucking just get a good jump shot. Well, guess what, buddy? If you don't have the best badges, if you don't know outside the game tips that's going to make you better that you can't even control in the game, Game. if you don't know inside the game tips that you can control to get better you're not going to be good if you don't know the best badges you're not going to be good if you don't know the tips and tricks you're not going to be good all your favorite content creators will not tell you this but i will because i'm not i'm not gatekeeping i put my boys on i put my boys on i'm for the people i'm for the people and y'all know i'm for the people check the comments if you if you watch this video at this point make sure you tell them in the comments that a cardi is for the people i need y'all to say that a cardi is for the people make sure they know okay make sure they know put some respect to my name i'm for the people but anyway this is first jump shot guard jump shot crazy good jump shot i go crazy with this jump shot very good okay that's just all i gotta say it's very good jump shot try it out for yourself uh the release cue will always be at the top of their head the release cue every single time will always be at the top of their head all right now i also got this boy, jump shot for my boy steez jump shot three rudy gay tony parker if you're a base three guy um this jump shot's really good okay release speed all the way animation animation blending 75 25 at the right when that ball is flicked forward that is going to be the green release cue for every single one everyone always asks me what's the shot cue what's the shot cue right when he's about to flick the ball forward at the goal that's when you release it's just very simple to understand go into a micro with your meter and look at it look at where it is okay and then once you see all right well that's where i need to release then you'll learn okay that's where it is okay um 
that's it for that jump shot. I'm going to give you one more guard jump shot, and I'm going to move on to locks. The guard and jump shot, the guard, lock, and tall guard, small guard, tall guard, lock jump shots are all the same. All the same, okay? Now, this is a jump shot that I used for a while, but jump shot three, um, base. Uh, Michael Jordan and Rudy Gay. I had the speed all the way up. I don't know why it's on three fourths. And then an animation blending 60 and 40, okay? Now, for your centers, okay, I will live and die with this jump shot, okay? This jump shot's crazy. In my opinion, it is the best jump shot in the game for centers. My Curry based jump shot just is too much, okay? I had this really speed max too, but I have Steph Curry, Paul George, Michael Jordan, and 65%, 35% release speed all the way. I love curry base on a center. Okay, a center that can get it is so unstoppable. It's, it's just it's just crazy to me. It's just so good, so smooth, so pure, very easy to time. Um, I just like it. It's like a pure stretch jump shot. I just I just fuck with it heavy. I use it on my glass cleaner all the time. So yeah, that is it for the jump shots, and that's it for this video. If it did help you, let me know down in the comments below. And always remember, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And always remember that you can do anything that you want to do with uh, God and you and your hard work. You can do anything you want to do. God willing, God loves you. I love you. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.